hey hello friends i hope you are all doing great out there and today as you know we are going to talk about the eighth problem of project value and it's a little bit complicated to explain that in a short video by the way the question is the four adjacent digit in the thousand digit number that have the greatest product are 9 into 9 into 8 into 9 is equal to 5832 yeah and here is the hundred digit number like a big matrix and then the question is find the 13 adjacent digits in the thousand digit number that have the greatest product what is the value of this product yeah that's the simple question I have and today I'm not going to write it down the program so I just had already written it down here and I'm going to just try to explain it and I suggest you to copy it on a paper I think that should be a nice idea because that's not that easy to understand in this short time so here you go mm, here the two header files as you know then int main and print hello world and that's nothing to, to do here and then two integers i and j i think it's probably for the for loops maybe and then a character type array the array has 1002 blocks as the number is 1000 digit number and two blocks extra one for the null character as we are going to put it as a string okay we'll see it in just right here that we are going to save that number as a string so we have to put a null at the end okay and then the answer variable that type is long long int and the value of this is one and then the temporary answer this is going to store the value of every <coughs> 13 digit multiple 13 every answer by after every iteration of loop okay and we are going to compare that answer with the previous one okay and also this type this one is type as a long long int and then a printf to ask the user to enter the number enter the big number and as it's a fa character so i just used uh, f flash okay then get s a and we are going to put the number here and we don't need to write that scan f there it's a comment line as you can see here then a for loop for loop starts from 0 to 12 that means 13 numbers we have to calculate the multiple and here the first 13 number we just have calculated here first 13 digits and we're going as we stored the uh, number as characters in a variable a array so we have to minus subtract 84 from the number because the okay, the character well character means the number going to store if we consider as integer the, there will be the ascii values so we have to minus 48 from the ascii value to get the exact number because i think i have a ascii table here because the numbers for ascii starts from the zero ascii value of zero is a 48 and ascii value of 9 is 57 increasing one by one so if you want to get 3 and the ascii value is 51 
so we just minus 48 from it and there this will be 3 and so that's it and here we go again so we just have to minus it from the ascii value to get the exact number okay so here we just calculated the first 13 digits and then store it in temporary answer and j is a new variable here it's already have a value of 12 and then uh, another for loop again i from 0 to 986 yeah 986 it's less than 987 because we just have to calculate 100 1000 minus 13 numbers because we already have calculated the first 13 here and then j plus plus increasing j and then if if again we are just minus uh, subtracting the 48 to get the number if the number is 0 then we are increasing j and directly putting the value of j into i because if j is 0 we don't have to calculate the set of 13 numbers we can just jump up to the value of j it's like two pointers pointing a set of 13 numbers i is at the first i is pointing to the first number and j is pointing to the 13th number and there is a set of that and if we found zero in j we don't have to calculate that set we just can jump or jump through that set okay so that's why we are just <coughs> putting the value of j into the i and again making temporary answer one because the answer is going to be zero if we already put that answer before because it's equal to zero and then a while loop here we are again calculating 13 numbers multiple of 13 numbers and then after that while loop we are just checking that number that is it zero or not and then temporary answer is equal to temporary answer divided by i into i okay here we are doing the we are just incrementing the whole set okay we are dividing the ith number and then uh, multiplying the jth number okay because the whole set is going one after another one by one like incrementing as we are incrementing as we increment any variable here we are doing the same thing we are incrementing the whole group of 13 numbers dividing the ith number and then multiplying the jth number okay and we are checking that is it greater or not or then ultimately we are storing that value here in the answer variable and after as it's a loop it will go to the end of that matrix as i showed there and then we are putting just printing the answer here okay that's it not a big deal i think mm, so if you will wrote it down in paper i hope you should <coughs> think a bit more to understand this understand this um, betterly i think because it's by understanding by this video will be a little complicated i think so let me copy it control c and here is it
okay that's taking a little bit time maybe what is the answer oh enter the big number oh i am sorry for that i thought it's just rotating the loop mm, yeah we can't copy that matrix and put it to that because that's we are going to put it in an array and as it's using a new line that means after that it's in it's enter and we can't do that so we just did it we i just make it a line make that whole matrix a line and it became a big line here you can see that big line and i just copied it and here we are gonna we are going to paste it okay control v and here is your answer that's the answer two three five one four six two four triple zero that's it thank you for watching see you next time